Spy X Family Episode 10 taught us one very important lesson that we should never, ever forget, and that is do not play dodgeball with your. You will, you will die. <laughs> yeah, fun episode. I've loved finally getting back to Anya. I've, I've adored all the stuff that we got for Lloyd and Yor and their relationship, but honestly, after the last episode, I was going, you know what? I need some Anya. Like, it's been so long since we've had some Anya. And it looks like, based on episode 11's preview, it does look like we're going to get more, so that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we're kind of reintroducing the whole idea that Anya needs to get these merits, <laughs> and of course... Damien also wants these, obviously. It seems like it's opening up a lot of doors around Damien. He has a lot of expectations placed upon him, which is kind of where I would assume they were going to be taking his story. He's the He seems to be the second child, the oddball out, and everything seemed to be compared to his older brother. His older brother was one of these Stella. He was very well known, just had top grades and everything, and now, oh, obviously, Damien's going to do the same thing, right? So he has that weight upon his shoulders. At the same time, yes, Anya is trying to get the status so that he can get in closer with Damien and again, obviously Desmond. So I did like the fact that we're slowly getting more into Damien, giving him more character, giving him a reason why Anya may eventually actually grow some sort of friendship at least with him, to characterize him and make him something more than just the snobby rich kid. Yes, he still has that status pulling him right back into it. He has this image that he needs to keep up, despite the fact that every now and then he'll deviate. But yes, the rumor is that this dodgeball game coming up will get them one of these Stella Marks. And so everybody wants to win so they can get this. I knew the moment they mentioned that, I'm like, it's gonna turn out to be one of those things where, yeah, you, they don't give anything out for that one. It's just a rumor. But it was fun because <laughs> Anya, of course, gets some pointers from Yor, which never turns out to good. I, I like that she once again notes at the very end, everything that Mama teaches me is absolutely useless. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we find out that Yor never played dodgeball with her as she has a killer arm, definitely. I like the fact that when Lloyd questions like, are you very sports-like? And she's like, oh yeah, I used to play catch with my brother all the time. And she's like, can't tell him that I rip people apart on a regular basis and toss them around all the time. <laughs> so she's pretty good at getting rid of, I don't know, is that indicating that she rips them apart and then just chucks their body parts five miles away? Uh, because that's what we end up seeing when she actually shows her how to do this really mean throw is it just it ricochets off of everything. It's... Uh, if Yor was in that class at that time, that would, that would be a massacre. I love the little attention to detail too, because as she's talking herself up that she can teach Anya something, she does this little kind of, uh, this little karate chop thing, and Anya's hair actually moves. It's like, you, you'd think that Lloyd would notice that, like, okay, that was a really scary chop that she just did in the air. She was able to make the wind, she was cutting the wind, basically. It was a little bit unfortunate, despite the last scene that we had with Anya and Damien, it does seem like they've completely regressed. Despite the fact that Anya apologized, despite the fact that he, you know, ran out in a tizzy, they're still arguing the same thing. They're just arguing, you attack me first, no, that's a lie. They're still bickering, and obviously this is something that Henry's taking note of, despite wanting elegance. <laughs> but yeah, this all leads to the dodgeball game, which of course had to introduce a character that is totally not six years old. <laughs> you get this big dude that looks like he is an adult. Yeah, he's apparently six years old, but he's like super trained by his father, who seems to be some sort of leadership role, super athletic, looking for those merits and all that kind of stuff for his father. As deep as voice possible, <laughs> matured very quickly, obviously. And he's their opponent. And that was goofy, but I went with it. But this is some cool, funny moments with Damien, which I never really expected. We get this whole training montage where the three of them were like doing all these different exercises to prepare for this. And it, <laughs> of course they're doing the rock climbing like, yeah, I'm just waiting for the moment that it like cuts away and it's maybe just like a regular, no, it's it's like literally a jungle gym inside of a playground. And then yeah, this whole moment where he's stopping this, like it's like, it's got the whole, the whole uh, background from like Dragon Ball Z and he's stopping this big ball of energy and oh, it's just a tire. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I really did like that. I got a, I got a little bit of chuckle out of that. But of course it doesn't really do much. Uh, one of them protects Damien, <laughs> like he says, well, what was it? Something like, I, I, I'm i doing this because you've done so much more for me. I can't think of anything right now, but I'm going to do it anyways to sacrifice myself for you, Damien. 
And then, yeah, the moment the other guy ran up and starts bawling his eyes out like he's dying, I knew he's going to get hit. Yeah, sure enough, he gets hit. This is where we finally, we finally get Anya in action, which is literally her reading the guy's mind and knowing which direction to dodge. I, <laughs> I got to kick out the, the guy gets all, like, worked up and he throws the ball and she just sits there because she knows that if she dodges, it's going to hit him. It just knocks the guy behind <laughs> I got a huge kick out of it. And yes, this leads to Anya falling over. I really thought this was cute because it. I, I was kind of curious if it was going to be one of those things where you do have that last remaining moment where Damien doesn't help her. But no, he ends up helping her anyways. That, that was a thought that he wasn't going to, but then something else would come up like she would know to dodge or roll or something like that. But it was really cute. I like because it was that, finally that moment where Damien protects her and she sees a good side in him. Because he's obviously seen a possible good side in her because of her breaking down and apologizing. Now she sees a good side in him. It's through these kind of actions that we finally see that true nature of somebody. Not his outward appearance that he's trying to give off this facade that he's this rich boy that's better than everybody else. That he's willing to take that hit for her. And I thought that was really cute. And this all leads up to, yes, Anya's super duper mega... <laughs> powerful throw which i knew she was gonna fail miserably and it, honestly it was going on for so long I, I there was a side of me that's like well maybe she will actually do it but no it's just literally this huge build up to her throwing the ball straight into the ground which i thought was hilarious and he just takes it and throws it back at her uh it was it was great it was a lot of fun and that's of course we get the big reveal that nobody's seen coming right <laughs> that there wasn't an actual merit for this entire thing and Henry's like, I don't know where you heard that from, but saying I want you to die or something like that in the middle of a match, that's grounds for one of the bolts. So are you, I'm assuming this boy gets a demerit. But this is a troubling thing because Anya and Damien were going to get a merit. Like they were about to get one, but then they start bickering and literally Henry didn't want to give it to him. Like they, they had their chance right there. There was the opportunity and they, because they're bickering, nothing. So yeah, nobody gets any Stella. <laughs> somebody gets a demerit <laughs> but uh yeah it was funny because at the very beginning they were talking about the idea that Anya was I guess it's cool to know that Anya's special in the idea that she's like one of the first cases ever that somebody got a demerit or one of these bolts during the entrance ceremony I forgot poor Becky got hit like right off the bat too I felt bad for Becky Becky's such a good girl <laughs> she's the only one that Anya <laughs> It takes care of Anya, and I don't, so I don't want anything bad to happen to Becky, even though she's technically keeping this whole argument thing going most of the time. But yeah, overall, fun episode. I enjoy it. Not too much to talk about, honestly. It was just a fun episode, so the only thing that really was meaty in this episode was what I mentioned earlier with this idea that, you know, Anya's seen this other side of Damien that otherwise she probably never would see. That he, he was willing to give up this MVP status, this possible Stella, just to protect Anya. He knew that it was going to hurt. He knew this guy was throwing it at full power. And he knew that if he didn't block it, she would get hurt. And he chose to sacrifice something for that. Again, that was technically grounds for a merit. <laughs> but they screwed up. Uh, maybe he'll still give it to him in the next episode. I don't think so, though. It was just a lot of really decent development for Damien, honestly. So we'll see where this goes. Next episode I'm excited for, as usual. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We have two more episodes in this core, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if they announced that the next core is going to be fall, I think it was, but we'll have to see. Yeah, all the data sites are showing that it's going to be fall, so that's not too much of a wait, but uh, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment, let me know what you thought of the episode. Did you enjoy the little bit of humanizing of Damien besides being a little stuck-up brat? Did, would you still play dodgeball with Yor? Well, maybe she hits you really hard, then she'll take care of you afterwards. I guess that's a bonus if you're willing to take the hit. If you survive, she'll take care of you. <laughs> Subscribe if you have not already. Share this video if you can. Support us on Patreon. I'll throw a tips link in the description below. We also have a super thanks button down there. We definitely appreciate everybody that supports us. It means a lot to us. Y'all take care.